Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. In this video, I will disassemble this laser printer to see what parts we can use for other projects. When a printer is damaged, normally it is not worth to repair it. The cost is normally higher than the price of a new one. However, they have a lot of parts inside that we can use for other projects. So let's see. The first part we will look at is the toner cartridge. You want to use a piece of cardboard or a newspaper because there are always some residues of toner inside and you can make a mess. Next time you need a PCB for your electronics project, consider using the professional services of JLC PCB. JLC PCB is the world leader in PCB fabrication. You can order online. You just need to register, upload your Gerber file, and wait a few days for your PCBs at an unbeatable price. I told you, you can make a mess. Well, after some cleaning, these are the parts that we found inside the toner cartridge. There are these uh, metal parts. This in particular has a very sharp edge. You can cut a finger with this, be careful. Another metal piece. This is the main uh, cylinder of the toner cartridge. It is made of aluminum, it is hollow, and it is covered with a material which is an organic photoconductor, a material that changes its electrical properties when the laser light uh, impinges over the surface. The image is formed here. Uh, another hollow cylinder, also I think is aluminum. And this is a piece of um, some kind of steel 
and it is covered with rubber and another steel part. And we also have these plastic gears and springs. Okay, now we continue with the printer. Okay, we have finished it. All the plastic parts have no value at all. They go directly to the trash. There are several metal parts. These have little value for projects, but you never know. And you can also sell them to metal recyclers. Lots of screws and springs of different types. We also found gears of different sizes small, 
plastic parts, these rollers here. All of these can be useful in robotic projects or mechanical projects. This is the motor of the printer. It is a stepper motor and also this other part that originally I thought it was a DC motor because it has only two wires but actually it is some type of solenoid when you apply voltage this moves in this way we have all these metal axes and cylinders including those of the cartridge the cylinders are made mainly of aluminum and uh, this uh, this, for example, it, it looks like stainless steel, it does not rust, but it is not stainless steel. I'm not sure what kind of metal it is, but you can uh, turn them in the lathe very easily. Some of them are covered with rubber, this for example, this other one too, but the center is metal. This has a very soft rubber with metal, metal center. And this other in particular is the heater that uh, dries the, the toner in the paper. And inside it has a lamp. Let me see. It is a high intensity lamp. It generates lots of heat, of course. Let's see. I recently used this too for a project of a toy that you are looking at now. The electronics control module also has uh, several parts that can be useful in electronics projects, of course. We have this high voltage electrolytic capacitor, 200 volts. These are expensive, several ferrite core transformers. We have these uh, inductors, ferrite core inductors. And uh, of course we have uh, transistors, small capacitors, resistors, diodes, etc. Finally, here we have the laser unit. Let's see. Okay, uh, here's the laser and there is an optical system to guide the, the laser to this part here, which is a, a mirror, a four part mirror, which is mounted on a motor. Uh, it must be a stepper motor. And uh, the function of this is to move the laser light from one side to the other and scan the whole uh, width of the page. Okay, so here's the final result. Lots of useful parts for different projects. So don't throw away your dead printer. That's all for today. Thanks for visiting my channel. I hope you liked the video and see you in the next one.